Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Shalom, the Lord bless you. My name is Roger, and I welcome you to God's Move Channel with Pastor Roger. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. If you are watching me for the first time, you are highly welcome. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Just click on the button, subscribe, like the videos, and share it with your loved ones. And God, who is the reward of man, will bless you mightily and abundantly. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. For this is the day the Lord has made, that we all be glad and rejoice in him. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made that we all be glad and rejoice in him. The prophetic word of today, the Lord says, I should tell you, for he is making them feel the same way you felt. The Lord is paying them back on, on their own coin. The Lord is giving, giving them the same feelings they gave you, they make you feel. You know, in life or in this realm, this generation or in this realm where we live, the worst thing that can happen is to hurt or offend someone who is called by God. Now, it may not it might not be a pastor, it might not be an evangelist, it may whosoever that believe in God. For the Bible says, For ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. So the fact the moment you offend a child of God, someone who believes in God, who trusts in God, who has laid down his or her life for God, and you offend that person or you make that person shed tears, you are not doing it for that person, but you are doing it for God. Mm. The Bible says Jesus said, This is for the least for the for what for the least you do, for whatever you do to the least of my people. He says, For thou do what unto unto me God not unto a particular person so whatever you are doing you are not doing it to a particular person or to a set of people you are doing it unto God praise God hallelujah so the worst thing that can ever happen to you or to mankind or to humanity is for God to be against you because if God be against you nobody on the planet earth will be with you when God is against you even the devil has no business to do with you why because his mission his assignment his purpose is to go behind those who are called those who serve God so as to derate them out of the presence of God but when you are against God, he knows that, ah, if this person is against God, that means God has rejected you. God has no business with you anymore. At that particular point in time, he has no business with you as well. He has no business. And you'll be, caught, you'll be stranded and say, oh, the devil has did this to me. No, the devil has not done that to you. You did it upon yourself by bringing or calling the curse, the curse of God upon you. Now, something happened and they did that which they did unto you. Thinking they were doing that unto you or to kill you but to break you. Not knowing they were doing it unto God. Now it is the time. Now it is the moment. Now is the season. It is the season. For scripture says in the book of Jeremiah, after Jeremiah 33, For there is time for everything. There is time for everything. They, it was their time. And instead of doing you good, they did you pain. They caused you pain and sorrow. Now is the time, is the moment God is about to cause them. God is causing them to feel the same pain you felt. The same pain you felt. And they will not just it will not just be the same. <laughs> Scripture says, it says, it says, shake down, running over shall men give unto you as you do unto God. So he said, whatever that God, whatever that do it, it says for a hundredfold. A hundredfold would the Lord do it back unto you. Because they did that unto you. Mm. God is giving them in a hundredfold. So how they're feeling the pain in a much more painful and in depth more way than what you felt. The pains you felt because the Holy Spirit was there with you. God was with you. God guided you and helped you out to overcome it. But now God is not with them. And even the devil himself is not with them. So what is going to happen is the pain they are feeling and the belle zubra hatakia. The pain they are feeling is so drastic. It's so painful that they will leave. They will regret. They are regretting, and they were like, "Oh, I wish." I, they will wish if they were dead, than to feel the pain. They wish they were dead, than to go through that pain. And I pray for you today, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
by the precious blood of the Lamb, whatever, whatever they did unto you, mm, may the Lord return it back unto them in a hundredfold. In the name of Jesus Christ, as the Lord causes them to go through that pain you feel, may they feel in a hundredfold, in a hundredfold. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, beware of what you do to others because the, the earth is very girly shape. A ball is round. And whenever you do, for example, stand outside, stand on the mountain, stand on a hill, wherever you, you are, and you shout, hey, you will hear an echo recording back. Hey, 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 hey. It's to make you understand that whatever you do, life will give it back to you in a hundredfold. When you shout, hey, and you hear the echo, it doesn't sound one, it sounds twice. It sounds twice or thrice. So you will always hear that echo back. So it's to make you understand, if you bounce the ball on the wall, it will bounce back to you. Beware of what you do to people. Beware of what you do to people because the return of it the return of it may be pleasant as it might be drastic dangerous unto you and unto your soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for, pre for prevailing in the life of your people. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are blessed. You are favored and you are lifted. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Stay blessed and God bless you. Shalom.